Hello, thank you for clicking on this video. My name is Dale. This channel is a flippin' fiasco. And today's video is another Thread Up DIY Designer Unboxing. This box also hails from Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania. And I'm a little concerned about this one because this is how it arrived with this flap um, not tucked in the way it normally is. So that is the flaw. When I reuse these boxes, I tape the bottoms because I'm like, they could just unfold, which clearly happens. So, um, my last video, which I'll link here was pretty good. So we're hoping this one is just as good. And hopefully all seven items are here. So yes, I ordered these boxes back in February. It is now April. So it's high time we get to these items. Ooh, are you kidding me? <laughs> oh my goodness. Let me see. Are you kidding me? <sighs> this is stunning. Oh my gosh. I have never gotten a Louis Vuitton in a purse. I mean, in a in one of these bags. So there's some staining, pretty significant on the inside, but who cares, right? And it has to be real, right? They wouldn't have sent me a fake. Um, the straps seem to be in good condition. Obviously, I'm going to have to check this out really well, but there's the lock with the LV and some writing on that side. And I mean, it's just, um, just an open bag. There's only one little slip pocket on this side with a, a clip though that you could hook something on, like a bowler style bag. Oh my God. Wow. So I'm going to have to like really look this over good to be sure that it's authentic. Um, and I don't care how many flaws it has, like the leather still looks to be in good condition. There's one scratch on the front there, which you can see right like in there. But otherwise in good condition. I don't know if it originally came with a crossbody strap. Holy crap, I can't believe I've had that sitting at my house for over a month. <sighs> I need to collect myself. <laughs> All right, we have a couple things in um, tissue paper and we have a box, which is interesting, but we also have a couple clothing items. So let's take a look at them. We have Max Mara, the tag is starting to come off, but this like periwinkle blue um, blouse and all the buttons are there. I'm not seeing any flaws. Um, so hopefully it's in good condition. It says it's a size eight and it is 100% silk. So again, the camera is not really doing the color any favors. It really is like a periwinkle blue. Next we have, white always scares me, um, but this is from Opening Ceremony and it is a funky like coat kind of thing. So like a high low, like higher in the front. I bet, I wonder if, oh wait, oh goodness. So is this, oh, this is a dress. So here's like the waist, this is a skirt. And then I think you tie this. It would be funny if I could, um, oh gosh, it's size 12. I might be able to model it for you. <laughs> that would be hilarious. Okay, so those are our two clothing items. Wait, so we have the Louis Vuitton, two pieces of clothing, and three items in here. So I do, I do think I'm missing something. Oh, thread up. Let's see. 
All right, first we have this box, probably a pair of sunglasses. <laughs> Doesn't want to open. Here we go. Let's see the glasses. I hope they're sunglasses. They are not. Okay, so we have just a pair of very low prescription glasses. They are Dolce and & Gabbana and they're like sparkly. See that? Very sparkly. I think they're just dirty. I don't think there are um, any scratches, but I mean, they might be like, maybe they're, I don't even think they're magnifying lenses though. I think they are prescription. So they're a little harder to sell. Um, and maybe I'll keep them. Maybe I'll keep them for myself. Me with my Dolce & Gabbana glasses, Louis Vuitton bag, and my opening ceremony dress. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, okay. Next, in this uh, tissue paper, we have... Ooh, it is a Michael Kors watch. So here is the Michael Kors watch. Uh, the band looks to be in great condition. Actually, yeah, this watch is in great condition. Um, of course, it's not running, but it looks like I might be able to pull the back off and fix that case. So very nice Michael Kors watch. Okay, and our last item, or items if we're lucky, is, oh, I do think there are two items here. So we have a Salvatore Ferragamo scarf. Um, I would imagine it is um, silk. Again, the camera is, well, it is, it's pink, and then it's got, I don't know, some kind of design on it. Um, so a nice tie. And then the last item, I'm so glad that we weren't missing an item, is a men's wallet, also Salvatore Ferragamo. And it has that symbol on the front. Is that the Salvatore Ferragamo symbol? I guess it is. Um, so, I mean, it's... It's been used, it's in kind of rough condition, but you know, quality leather is going to last for a very long time. So hopefully somebody else can still make use of that. Those are the seven items in this box. I am still stunned at this Louis Vuitton bag and hope and pray that it is authentic. What do you think? Try to get a close up for you. And maybe I'll throw in some pictures. Um, but I think it's authentic. Crazy. Super happy with this box. Um, I still have some more thread up boxes that I need to unbox for you guys. So Thank you for being here. If you're not subscribed, I'd love if you'd hit that button and that bell button so you're alerted when I post new content. Thanks again for being here and I'll catch you next time.